Hey, everybody, I want to talk about how Nancy Pelosi was basically not happy about how Trump basically derailed uh, her trip to uh, Afghanistan, Brussels, and Egypt. And she's basically like, you know, like not wanting to work with the president basically in building the wall. Uh, she's working against the interest of the country because she's trying to go outside and have a good time. Like these other politicians that have gone to Puerto Rico to have a good time. She, in essence, wants to have a little good time of traveling on taxpayer dime while the government is shut down. Well, if the government is shut down, in essence, the president basically said you can't go if the government is shut down. So you have to stay here and actually work to come up with a solution to the problems that we have right now. And that's the border wall. We have to make sure that we're doing whatever we can to build the wall. If we're not building the wall, then we're just a lawless country. You know, Nancy Pelosi lives in a beautiful home. People like Maxine Waters live also in a beautiful home. But yet, they don't think about that. They think about their home, just their home, and protecting their actual home. But the country is our home. We have to protect our country. It is essential that we have borders in our country. Every country has borders. And if you trespass those borders, they're going to send you right back. It, so, for me... To look at it is imperative that we protect our country and our border. It is common sense. It is not racist not to protect our border. It's common sense. So we have to go back to the essential, the essential part of common sense. So let's not turn something racist when it isn't racist. It's just common sense to protect our borders. So let's get back to that.